sound test room. Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Fingerbeat. Okay, so Fingerbeat, Fingerbeat is very good. It's it's like a, a kind of a musical sketch pad where you can, um, you, well, you can program this uh, fabulous drum machine as well. And then you can, you have this tape recorder where you can record uh, any sound clips you like. And I'm going to show you it working in Audio Bus 2 as well. And it's it's very clever. It's it's I love it. Um, it's great. Um, let me. It's very difficult to explain what it is without actually showing you. So I'm going to basically show you the basics. So I've got this little beat thing set up here. <laughs> And I recorded that earlier on, and I called it Doug One. Now you see all these pads here. You'll notice on pad eight here, there are two two different sounds assigned to that particular pad. We can change out our sounds here by um, we can either record from the microphone, as you can see a little wave there. So I could record a sound, and then I could replace the sound on that particular pad with my recorded sound, or I could add a sound to that pad, or replace a sound. So I don't want to, oh yeah, I can replace that because I'm not using that. So see there's two, we've got two different sounds on there. So if I wanted to add a sound to there, so I'd have three sounds, and it's you can go up to I think eight or so, or maybe even more. Let's just see. We see if we add sound here, we get a load of sounds here. Now you can see these little things here. They are our our um, categories. So we can just scale through all the categories, and we can so we can apply anything to anything to any of these categories. So we can scroll on there. You see, there's lots and lots and lots. <laughs> Some of them are some of them are grooves that we can select all the categories. We don't want to do that. So there's acoustics and then there's uh, basses and or oh, snares and synths and things. And... So let's say we like that. We just uh, highlighted there and clicked on, and now we have added another another um, sound to our pad. And then what we can do is, you see, pad, pad 7 settings, you can see that there is three slices here, so we can edit those pads. So, for instance, if I didn't want that one, I could just bin it, and it just turned back to two. So, you see how you build up your sounds here with your, your kits and stuff. You can add a slice to the pad, or you can auto-slice. Now, I'm not going to go into everything, but you can see it's quite, it's quite involved, and you can do lots of different things, and you can control the overall pad volume there. The minimum velocity transpose and fine tune the whole pad. So let's see. So if we close that there and uh, we've replaced that sound, so that's done. So now we have that that there. Now if we want to, we know that that's pad seven, so P seven. But this P seven here is our by the by the looks of it. So oh no, I've added I've added the that sound to it. So that doesn't matter. That's cool. What's P5, for instance? So say, for instance, I'm going to add some of this to, to my pattern A here. Okay, and I know also that pattern A is, I think if we hit this, my pattern is two bars long. But I can go up to... Look at this look. 32 bars long for each, each individual pattern. So we're going to keep it at two bars. Okay, so I could add, say, uh, this, uh, what did I say, pad five? Where there is nothing there. So we can add, um, let's add just this that there and play that. And then there's nothing in the second part. So this, uh, we can just uh, go to our second part of our pattern and we could add some more in so we could put in one there so there's that now also different things we can do with our patterns is we can record in live as well so if I hit record for instance there it will start counting and you can see along the top 
Now, if I was to start recording something, it would record over the two bars. So it would record, say, four bars of me. So if I was playing a melody, for instance. So let's select that sound. And here's another cool thing you can do. Once that sound is selected, if I hit the keyboard here, you can see we can we can oh we can, we can edit different parts of it. I don't want to go too far into this now, but you can see pad seven slice. Sorry, I'm gonna go pad seven slice one and pad seven slice two, which is the ambient. So we can just play with the sound we want. And there's a sounds tag there. So for instance, now if I was to press record now and um, I'll press record and I'll show you what I mean. Um, you'll see this change. So. And that's just for pattern A. Now we can go up to, all the way up to Z. Now, I have nothing, oh, I have four big, big, big bass drums in pattern B, so. And if we look at our settings, we can see that it's only for one bar. Now the cool thing is here, if I add another bar, it will add those bass drum beats in as well. So for instance, if I add two bars now, without me having to record another bar, you see it's jumped up and then back down there. So I could edit just the second part. And then what I can also do is I can put this, go back to A for the start. I can put this jump switch on and what will happen now is it will, it will play through. And you hear the ambient synth there because of the extra, the extra release on that particular sound. You can, you can, it will fo fold over so that's nice and clean. Okay, so that's one part of it. Okay, now, uh, I've, I, I mean, you can have just, you can save, save the beat as, and it can save it as Doug one, but it'll, it's going to remember what I've done. So, you can select different, different things. For instance, we could select this one, and there'll be just that. Or what did I put this one here? Which I doubt there's anything going on there. Nothing. So as I haven't recorded anything into that yet. But if we go back now to Doug One, I can. So my my setup is is saved automatically without me having to to particularly worry about anything. So what else can we do? Okay, so. Let's let's uh, say, for instance, uh, we go to our sounds again, and we have, uh, or we know we can add from mic. That means anything that I previously recorded is saved in the in the memory as like a sound, and I can add that from there. Okay, um, add sound. We've done pad settings. Yes. Okay. So we're we're pretty we're pretty we're pretty sorted on that. Now, obviously, there are more things you can do, but it would take forever and ever and ever to go through it all. Now. Here, we go over to our tape recorder section. Now, our tape recorder section is very cool. You can see it's picking up my voice here from the, just from the iPad microphone. And if I play something, there's there's nothing there. And I think if there's nothing there, it'll play for six seconds and it'll just stop it. But it's, if you're recording, it'll record for as long as you're as you're playing with it. Now, if I hit, I hit input, input, you will hear, you will hear my voice, my voice. Now, because of the latency and the way this is set up, that's, there's going to be a slight delay. But if you're just using um, ordinary headphones, you'll hear it straight away. But that doesn't matter because that's not important. It will record exactly as I'm speaking now, uh, regardless of the latency. I wanted to show you that you could, you are, you can monitor. Because I've got an audio out as well going into there, you're getting some, more, some extra latency. But it doesn't matter. You don't really need to. But what this is good for is if I want to record something now from my microphone, I can just switch on this effects and these are my microphone effects okay so 
Well, as I showed you before, let me just quickly show you this again, where we have effects here. This is very cool. Let me just play this. Actually, let me select B, which is going to be easier for me to talk over. So let's select uh, Mix. These are the cool things you can do with the Mix channel. You can mute, you can solo, mute solo down here. Here is, here is the volume. Okay. The volume touch, volume drag. Okay. And it's all down to your uh, effects. So this is your reverb delay amount. Okay. Filter amount. No filter applied. Stereo balance. So it's going left and right. Back to center. Now this is where the, this is the live triggering effects. If we go to here where it says reverb, and I put quite a lot of reverb on there. Okay. Best to remember this. What I'll do is. Set that corner to basically nothing. And this corner high. Now, you can see down here, we have our, our amounts of effects that are sent. And we want less. And then you can do the same with delay and the filter. Okay. So that's just basically showing you how you can set up your thingies. Now also you can mute out an effect on any particular channel you want. Okay, so it gets quite it gets quite involved there. So you have to mess around with the effects, okay? So like I said, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. So you can see that you can mix a load of stuff. Um, like that. So anyway, back to the, back to the, back to the tape recorder. So because you have a, a mix here, so if we start the pads off, we can we can take that down there, and this would be the mix between what you're going to record with your microphone and what your pads are going to be playing. And this is if you're playing in, if you're playing in live. Once you start to record anything you do, uh, I mean you don't have to record from the mic. Of course, you can completely mute the mic out and all it will record is the pads and what it will do is all your effects and stuff you can do in, in real time and, and 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 on the fly and everything is saved uh, uh, as you're as you're recording it like any record but the cool thing is now you can add we could add in some microphone but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a few cool things that you can do and it, it, you can have a lot of fun with this so we know that the effects on if i just hit just hit one two one two i want to i want to bigger bigger Reverb. 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 And I have... Sorry, you have a noise gate as well. So if I have the noise gate completely down, down. you'll hear any ambient noise that's going on in the background. That's fine. We're going to leave it like that. And I'm going to leave the effect switched on. And I'm going to record something into this. So let me just make sure I've got this right and we don't loop switched on we want to make sure it's at the beginning and I'm just going to press record and like a tape recorder it will just start to record so uh, let me see yeah it was strange I was awoken by a weird a weird metallic droning sound that seemed to be coming from my back garden well I jumped out of bed as quickly as possible put my slippers on and ran over to the window to see what was occurring to my surprise and astonishment, there was there was obviously what was an alien spaceship that had landed in my garden. I quickly grabbed my dressing gown and ran down to investigate. So, <laughs> okay, so if we rewind that now, which is the coolest thing in the world because I can scrub as well. Anyway, but point point. It was strange. I was awoke by a weird. Weird metallic droning sound that seemed to be coming from my back garden. Well, I jumped out of bed as quickly as possible, put my slippers on, and ran over to the window to see what was occurring. To my surprise and astonishment, there was
There was too much reverb. Which was which was uh, thingy. But anyway, the point being is that you can add what you like and you can do what you want. Um, so let's see, what, what else can we do now? So let's forget the effects for a sec. And we've got this, uh, this recording saved. And what we're going to do is, just for now, I'm going to go to Audio Bus. I'm going to open... Uh, what is it now? Uh, finger lab, uh, finger beat. Sorry, I'm going to open finger beat into the output. Okay, and into this uh, input, I'm going to put. Um, I don't find it now. Bitwiz. Okay. Now I'm just going to have to be be a bit careful now with the sound, so I'm going to just drop the volume a tiny bit. I want to um go to factory code I want to select some strangeness. Actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to want... Yeah, I'll just use the mixer fader to fade this in because otherwise we're here all day. Now, as you'll see, on the on the, um, on the the uh, audio bus control strip for, for uh, Figure Beat, you can start the sequence, which the sequences I've recorded. No, you can't. Oh, I don't know. I know. Wait a sec. Let me just check something here. <laughs> it's only because I had the I had the volume down on the mixer. So for instance let me just stop bit whiz and So you can see you can start the sequence but you can also start the tape and that should be that thing I just recorded. It was strange. I was awoke by a weird a weird metallic drum. Right, okay. And then we can record. Now, here's the thing. What I want to do is I actually want to overdub that. But I don't want to, so I'm going to... Right now, so... About there, I'm going to put overdub in. So 25 seconds, I'm going to start bit whiz. And I'm just going to fade it in. So all I need to do is hit record. I'll stop that. Just let me take it off over to a sec. And rewind it a bit more. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you listen to all of this. It was strange. I was awoke by a weird. So it was about 20 seconds. I landed in my car. I quickly grabbed my dressing gown. Ran down to the vestibule. So I'm going to hit overdub again. Just let me check this. I'm going to hit overdub again. And then uh, I'm going to hit record. And then when Bitwiz finishes, I'm going to start recording.
stop and then stop again now at this point you've got to be getting an idea of some of the cool stuff you can do because you can import clips as well that you've previously recorded and then you can affect them uh, so let's see what we've got now is at some point let me rewind it no. So for it's brilliant for musical sketching. Now, when you've done this, right, when you've got this and you're happy with your kind of mix, your session, obviously you can save it. But then if you want to, you can apply uh, effects to the whole tape. Now, these include things like a uh, reverb, size of the reverb, uh, the actual tape volume, which is the whole, the whole thing, and a compressor, an EQ, and a reverb. So guys, there you go. Now, I haven't got time to, to go through everything, but you can see there are an absolute ton of sounds that you can use you can use with uh, finger beat and they're all included but you can import your own you can record your own you can use it in the input or the output of audio bus so like you said you can record any instruments in now over your 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 mix thing like you can play it melodically um you can replace kit sounds randomized sounds pattern set there's all sorts of stuff tons and tons of, of of options the thing is you can get going quite quick there's diff different types of things here like the effects and stuff and oh, we've looked at them and uh your 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 options here for exporting and sharing your you can show you can make oh, yeah you can make notes for every single pattern so if you're sketching ideas out or you want to you're writing a lyric or something for each pattern you can write everything down it's just absolutely it's just great it's a great app uh get to know it and you'll get a lot out of it now i, I like i said i've done all right with this and um you know I, i've really only played with it for a couple of hours and um I'm, it's a, it's good fun and uh, yeah, i love the fact that you can add a load of sounds to each particular pad you can record a, a pad sound straight in from the microphone it's great all right guys hope you enjoyed this uh, rather lengthy demo of finger beat and uh, if you have liked the video subscribe to the channel visit us at the soundtestroom.com where me jacob collin will try and help you out with anything we possibly can uh yeah thanks guys and i'll see you later